must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. So it looks like we are making good progress towards this pink pin. I think that's the one that we want to go to because I think it's that shrine down there which should be really close to the stable that will allow me to equip this ancient saddle that we found. It, it feels like we found it ages ago. We still have yet to equip it. Just to get to the stable to equip it is like the most epic of adventures. We haven't even started the main quest really. We'll get that in a moment. But first, we gotta throw this Oh, that was close, man. That was close. Can we? Can I actually throw it that far? Oh, oh, I, I, I. <sighs> can I not climb these? Oh, I was gonna say if I can't climb them, I'm dead. Um. Oh, he's got a triple bow. Okay. That's very interesting. He has a bow that's shooting triple fire arrows. Yeah, let's go take his bow. That looked really nice. Also, the treasure chest should be around here that he was guarding. Maybe it's a really good bow. And it is, with durability up, no less. Oh, man. Gonna drop one of these junky spike bows, take up this beautiful knight's bow, and let's go grab his arrows. Did he drop his weapon? Because that would be like Christmas. He did. He literally dropped a triple bow, guys. Dropping that. What? A lizard had a mighty line elbow? How did he come across such a weapon? How? Wow. Good thing we stopped and actually uh, killed that guy. Alright, now where were we? So, how do I throw the rock? Oh, you know what? Maybe I gotta use stasis? Maybe I don't throw? Maybe I... Maybe I gotta go like this? Seems like this would be a lot harder. Will two taps do it? Alright, three taps. Three taps will do it, for sure. Then we'll go to the stables. <laughs> okay. No, no. Oh, I was just trying to line up the shot. I wasn't actually trying to... Okay, that's way too many. Alright. So, four is too many. It's gotta be three. It's gotta be three. Okay, we're running out of rocks here. That's all right. Just lining up the shot right there. One, two, three. That's it. That's the play. 
And it's raining again. Okay. Maybe with the sword it's two taps? One, two. Two taps. That's it. That's the play. Come on, man. Come on. Oh! That was so close! Okay, that's definitely, that's definitely gotta be it. Let's try a different spot, maybe, maybe like right here. Alright, you know what? Whatever. I ain't worried about that one. I ain't worried about that one. There are 900 Korok seeds in the game. I'll just go for a different one. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that one where I had the two on the sword, man, that should have hit it. Alright, we are very close, guys. And good thing, too, because I want to get out of this rain. Why is it always raining and thunderstorming in this game when I play? Alright, I know we're getting close. I just don't know exactly where it is. Oh, my goodness. You need help? Oh, that's a lino bow. I don't really need to be using that. Hi. I tried to parry him, but it didn't really work. Alright, I helped you. Come here, what, do you have anything to- Is that you again, Lika? Lika, you are constantly getting in trouble. Ooh. That's actually a nice meal, though. Mm. Saved again. Am I so wrong for just wanting to sit by the river? It's getting so I can't even take a walk anymore. You think, Lika? I'm going back to the stable. Good. Finally, you learn. This is no place to be just chilling by the river, okay? You're only like a mile away from the epicenter of death. Okay. Alright, let's go check out this uh, shrine over here. Alright. Looks like we're gonna have to uh, make our way. Like, oh, okay, it's raining, so that's gonna make it more difficult, but we'll manage. And then the uh, stables are right there, so as soon as we're done. Oh no. As soon as we're done with this shrine. We'll go to the stables. It should stop raining very shortly. So that's nice. Alright, there's a Korok thing. I'm not sure where we gotta put it. Maybe right in the middle. Come on. Alright. There's also some fish. Maybe if I try it from this way. Not right there? Alright, maybe over here? No? I'm not really sure where I have to put the block. There it is. I'm just trying all the spots. Alright, we got that Korok. Didn't get the last one, but whatever. What kind of fish are those? Oh, those are Staminoka? Okay. Good to know. These are very, very good fish. They will boost our max stamina. Very, very useful. Alright, now let's tackle the shrine, boys. This is the shrine that I've been trying to get to for ages because it will allow us to teleport right to this stable. Miroshas. I don't remember what this shrine is like whatsoever, so I'm not sure if it's easy or hard. But we're about to find out, boys. Hope you're all enjoying the series. I'm actually drinking coffee this morning, which I don't normally. Normally I like to drink tea. Today we're drinking coffee. Does that mean that it's going to be extra, extra awesome episode? Possibly. 
Another shrine, another step towards the Master Sword. Alright, already it's interesting. Tempered power. Alright, so far I don't remember it. I remember this one. All right. Oh my goodness. So the stone <laughs> at the beginning of this episode, that was just practice, guys. That was practice. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So now we're playing mini golf. So, oh boy. Let's line it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's, that's not the line. Okay, that, that was practice. Practice. Yep, that was practice. Okay. You gotta find that sweet spot and then hold it. So, like, if I can go right there and then we're gonna... That wasn't even close. Okay, okay. So I gotta hit it quite a few times. All right, that it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, that was the easy one though, guys. That was the easy one. Now this is the hard one, I'm pretty sure. This is the one that I remember took some more mini mini tries to beat. And that's not saying because he's bad. It was just, it's just really hard. Oh boy. That almost smashed my toe. Oh wait. No, no, no. Yeah. We're gonna go over here, and I'm pretty sure the reward isn't that amazing. But you know what? We're not gonna leave a chest un unopened in a shrine. And to be honest, two sledgehammers is actually really useful. Imagine being a boomerang, and your owner throws you, and before you can return, he's already replaced you with a different weapon. Feels bad, man. Okay, so this is the insane one. I don't even know if, if I'm going to be able to do it. We're going we're gonna to hope that's it. You almost got to get a swish, like a hole in one, like. That's not it. That's not it. This is going to be so challenging. If I spend too long in here, guys, I'm not even going to count it towards the episode. Though I might edit out some of this. We'll see. Oh my goodness, that was in! That was literally a perfect shot, almost. And it was six hits. Alright, I'm not even close anymore. I'm not even, this is this a failed experiment. That one's failed. Alright, it's definitely six hits to hit it dead center. I don't know if you're supposed to hit it dead center. You might have to hit it on the back slope so that it actually bounces back. I'm not really sure. 
All right. Good job, Link. Good, good job there. That was a good one. Honestly, it might even be easier to not use the hammer. Are you kidding me? It's got to be that. You just got to hit it dead on, and I'm so close to doing that. Oh boy. Oh, that was so close. Alright guys, I think I finally figured out how you do this. So you have to hit this exactly five times. And then the last hit, you gotta switch to like a one-handed weapon and aim it. Okay, that was not a one-handed weapon. The knight swords look almost identical, so it's hard to tell when it's a... Uh, Two-handed and a one-handed. All right, all right. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. Five with the sledgehammer. Four, five. Oh my goodness! We got it. Oh, the bounce was perfect. Oh my goodness, that took me so long. That took me probably at least 15 minutes. Come on. Let's see what we got for that. Okay, that's actually worth because that's one of the most rare things in the game. Whew, that was a headache shrine though. Yeah. I'm definitely going to cut out most of those shots, but just to shorten down the video because otherwise that would literally be half of the video of me be trying to make that thing. Alright, so, we did the shrine. Amazing. Let's go ahead and get this. Man, I thought it was going to be an easy shrine, too. As soon as I saw what it was, I was like, oh, no, not this shrine. <laughs> but hey, even the hard shrines, we get. We'll, we'll do them. Might take a little longer, but we do them. One more spirit orb and I can actually get two hearts. I haven't even really needed more hearts. As long as you have fairies, you know, they keep you alive. That's the thing about master mode. You know, just, just always have fairies on you and you'll be fine. All right. Finally, let's go get the stables, guys. Finally. Oh, man. And it, for once, it's not raining. It's about to be sunshine for two hours straight. Wow. Wow. That's unusual. Let's grab the rush room up here real quick. Those are useful in upgrading the climber's gear. You need a bunch of rush rooms, I remember. Ooh, a double axe. I love double axes. Love double axes, man. They are so good at breaking things. And they last forever on the durability. This is kind of a cool little cafe area. While my horse is coming, let's go ahead and talk to Beetle, buy some more arrows. Pack it to the max! Yo, I'm trying to buy from you. Hello? Always buy arrows. Every time I can. Actually, I'm gonna buy that hardy lizard as well. Alright, Cookie. It's your time to shine. Let's 
Let's go talk to the person over here. I'm pretty sure this stables, we can upgrade Cookie. Hi. Yes! She's like shocked. Oh, that's a mighty fine horse you have there. If you're interested, may I help you change your horse's gear or mane? Yes! Oh, but you should know I'm only interested in horses that are raised with lots of love. How's your horse faring on that front? Hmm. Wow, this one's eyes are positively sparkling with affection! I can tell this little one is just head over heels for you. That settles it. I'm glad they help you out with some gear. Ooh. Um, let's change the, uh, the saddle, right? Oh, man. Ancient saddle. Boom! I think it's amazing. The mane? What can we do with the mane? Oh. We give her, we give Cookie a, a haircut? Oh my gosh, flowers. Braids, that's pretty cool. Long green, long blue, long red. Oh my gosh. Long purple. I had no idea you could do this. We could dye Cookie's hair? That actually looks pretty sick. Uh... You know what? I'm, I'm leaning towards either the long mane or the mohawk. You know what? Let's go mohawk. <laughs> I'm going mohawk just because it's it's very unique. You never see like a horse with a mohawk in this game in the wild. So awesome! Dang, Cookie, you looking really nice, Cookie. You looking so good, here, Cookie. Here, have some apples to celebrate your new haircut, your new clothes. No? Done with the apples? You just like breed, don't you? Now do you see the apples? Yeah, I knew you would like those. Alright, well, Cookie's enjoying the apples. Let's see if there's any quests in here. Oh, there's another recipe. Hyrule herbs and Dura carrot and whatever that is. Probably Goron Spice will make whatever that is. Let's read the diary, make sure there's no questing in here. Korok Mask. Ooh. It's in a tree hollow in a forest that makes people lose their way. Oh, it's in the Lost Woods. All right. See, we got a quest update. All right, Cookie. Almost done eating those apples. So where I want to go now is, I think... I don't think the pink pin we need anymore. I think that was just... Unless that's the tower. I don't even know where the pink pin went. So let's take the pink pin off. I think that was just for the shrine. So is it the yellow pin? Yes. Alright, we're going to go up for that tower, guys. Oh! Oh my goodness, Cookie! What an entrance that was! I forgot. Now I can literally summon Cookie anywhere we are. After we get the... Oh, that is so useful. So now I can summon Cookie anywhere. Alright, that is amazing. Uh, after we get this tower, then I'm going to probably start heading over to get the ancient uh, bridle. I hope it doesn't cover up the mohawk. I think it does. But that'll give Cookie two more spurs so I can... Just go faster for longer, I guess. Uh, should I go right or left? Uh, I'm gonna say right. Left looks like a war zone. Let's see if I can get up to this tower. Bunch of enemy encampments nearby, I see. Very interesting encampments. Oh! All right, let's scout the area, Cookie. You stay back. I'm going to scout, see what we're getting ourselves into, okay? All right. It looks like there's actually not that many enemies. Looks like it's mo- I just went through that tree branch. Didn't actually count as a death. It only took one heart. 
Do you think I can get to the tower without even, like, raising the alarm? Just in case, I'm gonna throw down, like, one of these right there, but... I'm gonna try to get to the... Here we go. Can I get a sneak attack on this guy? One hit? Not quite. What is that electricity over there? I don't trust this lizard. That's a really nice weapon he was guarding over there, actually. This is a dragon bone club. Man, I don't need two sledgehammers, probably. They are really useful, though. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take the dragon bone bat. 36 damage. You can't argue with that. Let's go up. Oh gosh, can I even make it up here? Climber's gear! Climber gear. That's actually taller than I thought it was. But we'll, ma we'll make it, we'll make it. I'll do a leap of faith right at the end. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, and then this, uh, this is looking like we're just gonna have to blow up some, uh, barrels over here. Last shot was a direct hit. That made him mad, probably. Where are you going? Ooh. I'll take that. He died. Too bad he went down there because I could have got his loot. Oh, look at that. Got my bomb arrows right on back. Alright, we found the woodland tower, finally. Let's climb up here. Wait, did it just start raining? If it started raining, how come I'm not slipping? I'm not questioning it. Some more arrows. Man, we can keep climbing up here. This one will make me slip. Yep. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Wait a minute, so climbing this tower is going to be really difficult. Oh, look at that dude, I didn't even notice. He's got a fire rod. I really want that, but the chances of it dropping into the tar are kind of high. Come on, Link, are you kidding me? Why does it always rain right at the worst possible time, you know? I wonder if if I go on the tower, will it cause me? I'm just going to wait till the rain stops, guys. I'm going to wait in the dry area right here. I could start a fire right here and pass the time, but it's going to stop raining in just a few minutes, so... I'll be patient. Drink my coffee. Part of master mode is just fighting the weather, man. Fighting the world.
So if I summon Cookie, will she just teleport over here? <laughs> I guess not. Ooh. Oh, a silver. He's very strong. And the lizards can actually swim in the tar. Gross. All right, it should stop raining soon. All right, I think it finally stopped raining. Let's see if we can do this now. So much easier, look at that. Not even a struggle. All right. That's a pretty cool tower though. How you have to like climb up the, the enemy base camp to get to a point where you could actually get up the tower. Unless of course you have a ton of stamina by this point, which you know, depending on how you go about the game, you might. Are you kidding me? Ooh, oh, 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 that was close. That was close. What is this, guys? Our fourth or our fifth tower? I want to say it's our fifth. Bit of a tall climb here, but we should be able to get it. Ooh, this one's cool. It's literally the tower that is on, on a skull base. That is so cool. We'll get a better look at it right here, I'm sure. Look at that. So cool. Okay, let's just put one of these skull bases right on the tower. <laughs> Would that be cool if it fell off when the tower activated and like crushed some of the uh, camp below? That would have been cool. And funny. Scanning area. What if- how could it even scan with that thing right on it? Finally, we unlocked a big chunk of the map. Do you see that big forest in the middle of that like lake? That's the Lost Woods. That's where the Master Sword is. But we, we could go there and there's, there's shrines and stuff that we could do. Uh, but, and actually I might do that eventually. So you can kind of see the Lost Woods over there. Look at that. Do you see them? That big uh, pink flowery tree is probably the great Deku tree. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. Because what I want to do... Wow, look at this view. Woo, we are pretty close to the castle. Um, wow, look at all the blue towers I got over there. There's four blue towers. You can see all the four towers that I've actually done. And then this is the fifth. There's that shrine in the with the vines all around it. I do want to go to that tower. But first, I think I'm going to go all the way over here to get the Ancient Bridal. What do you guys think? Should I go for the Ancient Bridal? Or should I go for this tower over here? Or, I mean, we could even look for the tower that is in the Goron land, which I don't see it, but I know it's that way somewhere. Or we could go west and go towards the uh, Ruto place. Or we could go towards the uh, Gerudo place. I'm really pretty open on what what to do, like, so let me know what you guys think uh, we should do in the next video, and maybe I'll do it. Otherwise, probably we're going to go for the Ancient Bridal. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been really fun. I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.